Well, let's talk a little about the health care law, because we're about to begin on October the 1st, open enrollment for six months. And I'd like to give you a chance, first of all, to tell them why, when you took office, we were teetering on the brink of a depression. You had to avert it. You had to start the recovery again. Why, in the midst of all this grief, did you also take on this complex issue? Many people were saying, why don't he just focus on the economy and leave this alone? Tell us why you did it. Well, first of all, I think it's when we talk about, for example, our deficit, you know this better than anybody. Uh, the reason that we have not only current deficits, but also projected long-term deficits, the structural deficit that we have, is primarily based on the fact that we have a hugely inefficient, wildly expensive healthcare system that does not produce better outcomes. We are bending the cost curve and getting at the problems that are creating our deficits in Medicare. I do think sometimes people come up to me and, and they say, well, if this is such a good deal, uh, how come the polls show that it's not popular? Well, one of the things you and I both know is that when you come to health care, there's no more personal and intimate decision for people. I mean, this is something that people really care about. And frankly, uh, the devil you know is always the be the de better than the devil you don't know. <laughs> that open enrollment period will last from October 1st until uh, the end of March. And so there will be six months for folks to sign up. Normally, this would be uh, pretty straightforward. A lot of people don't have health insurance. A lot of people realize they should get health insurance. Uh, but let's face it, it's been a little political, this whole uh, Obamacare thing. Uh, 